The romantic comedy would be lost without its dream girl. But what about Seven? That proved an irresistible temptation for Australian actress Frances O'Connor, who co-stars with Brendan Fraser and Elizabeth Hurley in Harold Ramis' devilish new comedy, Bedazzled. It's all about first impression. Go over there, say hello. I've never really been the, an Alison Gardner type. I was never like the most popular girl in high school or anything, so she's definitely not me. I mean, in some ways, I knew my function is like, it's a straight man of the piece, and, um, but I thought in each one, I wanted to try and have really clear objectives for each character and make them as different as they possibly could be. Uh, like Brendan too, because he's like, he really takes the character and he really pushes it and, He's like, his energy too on set, it's just like almost, you know, you can't contain it. I think what, what I really loved about it was it like, it's kind of like the original reason why you wanted to be an actor, you know, you get to be glamorous and dress up and do different voices and all that kind of thing. I am used to visiting in the Los Angeles for the time of vacation. Uh. The basketball stuff's funny when he finally realizes that he's, <laughs> he hasn't been endowed with. <laughs> much. <laughs> it's funny. You must have a huge... <gasps> you gave me like this little teeny weeny... I think when I was younger I had kind of illusions of like I just wanted to be in love with a tall dark handsome stranger and I think as I get older I just like I think I like guys who just uh, are just relaxed about themselves and um, not too selfish and fun to be with. What have we learned so far? Well... Let's see, I'm starting to think that women really don't know what they want. Amen. Despite an acting pedigree that includes such Tony Fair as the heroine of Jane Austen's Mansfield Park, O'Connor's about face into comedy is a bit of a revelation for the actress, including her secret for telling a joke. After a few drinks, like that. <laughs> but I like, I actually, I love when going out for dinner, I really love listening to people. You know, I love, like, listening to, to what people say and, and enjoying people's humor, I think. Um, but comedy is about, I think, I mean, they say it's about timing and stuff, but I think it's about enjoying it, enjoying yourself. Still, as the latest hit of thunder from Down Under, O'Connor's own wish is to continue exploring different facets of herself on screen in true Aussie style. I think each country has a different flavour and it has different kind of characteristics and qualities. And there's a certain freshness to that when that kind of comes into the, the market. And uh, I think Australia has a particular kind of energy that people are attracted to. I don't know what it is, because I'm, I can't really say because I am Australian, but um, I know that a lot of people love Australian actors. Uh, I think also because we're kind of down to earth too. And, um, and I think people like working with that. You were incredible tonight. I mean, watching you, I just kept thinking how unbelievably big your uh, ego must be after a game like that. I'm not that big, really. <laughs> I think. I didn't have to put myself on the line in this, and I, I think I felt like every film I've done up to this point has been about that. And I think sometimes it's nice to do a film that's just fun, and that you're going to have fun in. And um, uh, yeah, it's just like I think I think you have to work out in every film what your purpose is in the film and what you're meant to be doing in it. It's an entertaining film, and it's about entertaining people, and that's a I think that's a giving thing to do, and I, I want to be a part of that.